Hello everybody, I'm Adrian from Pixel Alliance in Barcelona. I'm super happy to be here today at this TrapiConf 2023. With me, Nicola, let you introduce yourself. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Nicolas. I'm tech leader at uh, Pixel Alliance and I'm also very happy today to talk about uh, Sonos at the StrapiConf. In today's agenda, we are going to review what we have done for Sonos using Strapi, this amazing product, and how we care and how we help us build their strategy across new markets. We'll talk about Learn Sonos, how Strapi helped build this amazing product, how we managed to build a multi limit catalog, and finally, what are the results of such use of Strapi. I'm happy to represent Pixel Alliance, a digital agency based in Barcelona, Paris, and Lyon. We are 30 members. We are happy to launch and build amazing cutting edge technology today for Sonos and other many, many clients that we have in Europe. And to talk more about Sonos, real approach, and I think we all know Sonos maybe because you own product at home or you have ever listened to one of our products somewhere. The thing is that they are one of the major, major manufacturers in audio products today, and they exist since 2002. And they now want to expand more of their brand across new territory. And that's what, why we are today and what we are going to share with you. Sonos, this big brand, many, many markets today across the world. And this main idea, how to be certain to launch new products and be sure that customers across a lot of nations and country will adopt your product. That's the question that they ask themselves and starting to test on a marketing scale to be sure that they can launch a new, uh, new products, new services on specific territories. The idea that the marketing and the commercial team of Sonos had was about creating a website, learn.sonos.com, who would help them test and be sure that a new market fits uh, their products and be sure that they can actually launch in an easy way, in a good manner, new products. They first built this website using WordPress and they're starting to use it in 2020. It was really the first, first work that we have done on this, on this particular subject. A Sonos product is a complicated collection. You have title, price, dynamic elements, a lot of fields who are packed together within one single product and that we have to showcase. The thing is, this issue, this many number of fields that we have to present are a bit complicated because they are multiplied by more than 200 products. And these 200 products are themselves multiplied by more than seven languages. This is huge in terms of catalog and collection. This is huge to manage such a collection of elements and products. And so regarding all this, uh, this aspect, the Sonos team at first has big, big trouble managing their website. Because it was WordPress, the performance was really, really bad at the beginning, managing adding, removing products, or just quickly modify one product was super complicated or almost impossible sometimes. When they raised more than 15 products inside their catalog backlog, the website was so slow, they didn't have any chance to really manage the website and the products. Simply put, WordPress is good for blogging. It's an amazing tool, but it's not flexible enough for such a catalog. So to sum up with WordPress, this particular project has a lot of issues. Content flexibility first. WordPress in this native form, it is hard to work with custom post type and add more collection and different type of content inside. Also, managing more than 10 languages in WordPress requires to use a lot of plugins, and the back office in the end always feels hard to use. The front-end adaptability also, because WordPress is a monolithic structure, it is hard to plug anything that you want, and so the performance are always bad when you use this kind, this kind of huge, huge uh, back office. And finally, the Sonos always asks us like what we can add to the product, stuff like this, and we are blocked because of the WordPress solution, because the website was so slow, the back office so hard to manipulate, that it was really a pain to actually start to do some new stuff inside the system. And so, we're getting all those th things, we think about what we can bring to Sonos so that they can take back control on their strategy, being able to really gain his in a way that they can handle more than 100 products, being also able to create and manage their products really easily and quickly. 
being able also to make them in more than seven languages, that means that they need to translate all this information quickly and being able to maintain control of it. They increase finally the time to market so that it's not taking them months to just launch a country, but just days. That's the main idea. And finally, being able also to give the users a, a lovely front end that it's easy to use and understandable. And so, what was the solution? You can guess it at the name of the conference, but I will let, uh, I will let Nicola present to you Strapi and how I will use Strapi to enable Sonos deployment in new markets. Uh, so yeah, uh, now we have all this context for creating uh, the real world on Sonos website. Uh, Strapi was kind of um, solution we identified uh, as a good solution to answer the problem. Uh, because why? Uh, because Strapi, for the comfort flexibility, uh, everything is native. Like the possibility to create custom field uh, around collections uh, defining the collection in the way you want was a huge advantage. Um, the, the idea also was to make this website uh, ISO to the main Sonos website. And for them, the challenge was that we don't have access uh, to their backend on the official Sonos website. So we needed a tool uh, that is flexible enough to reproduce uh, the UI component we formed on Sonos website, but in Strapi. Uh, for the languages, Strapi also uh, manages the translation natively. So that was a huge advantage, a huge technical advantage for us, as we don't have to uh, handle multiple plugins, uh, doing translation, internationalization. Everything was done uh, natively in Strapi, and it was very easy to consume it, uh, and to consume this data in the front end. Uh, front end adaptability is what I said before. Uh, we needed to make the so learn Sonos website uh, ISO to the main Sonos website. And Strapi provides us the ability with component, with dynamic zone, uh, to make this happen. And for the future development, it's kind of the same. Uh, like we don't know in the future what the main Sonos team will develop for components. And uh, Strapi made us easy to create new components based on the main Sonos website. So for that, it was a tool, a way to, to go for us, uh, to go in the strappy way to make learn Sonos website. Uh, now we identified the right tool to make uh, the Sonos website, the learn Sonos website. Uh, on the infrastructure side, uh, we decided to have an infrastructure that could handle uh, people from different locations and that could be flexible enough to be deployed uh, often. So for that, uh, we decided to base the infrastructure on Docker, uh, Sentry, Prometheus, and Grafana. Uh, Sentry, Prometheus, and Grafana are tools we use regularly on all our projects at Pixel Alliance to quickly identify issues on uh, our project and to be able to respond on them quickly, to fix bugs, uh, to see the performance, monitor performance, and it gives us really cool feedback tool uh, on all our projects. So on the CMS side, so we use Strapi, a Dockerized Strapi uh, that was able to quickly deploy, manage uh, different versions of the application. And on the front end side, we decided to go with Next. And we decided to go with Next version 2 because it was made last year. And Next 3 was uh, in release candidate. So we thought it was safer to use next to. And at the end, it was a good choice because today the website is still running on next to, and the performance are very good, uh, very maintainable, and very scalable uh, for larger deployment and larger component integrations. So a tool that really helped us during the development of uh, the Learn Sonos website was Locality. Uh, because as we said before, we needed to manage 200 products in seven different languages. And for that part, you cannot do it uh, like natively. It has to be taken as a native project inside the project. So for that, we chose Localizy because uh, we first saw of the native strapping integration for the native plugin that exists and is developed by Localizy. And it really helped us uh, to connect uh, the component to a Localizy translation project 
and uh, yeah, integrating seven languages was super fast. Uh, so guys, if you are, if there is guys from localities that are here tonight uh, to listen to us, guys, thank you and big ups to you. As you, what you do is really cool. I want to really thank you, Nicolas and his team, for this amazing project. It was such a huge, huge step up, step up for us for using Strapi inside a project. And now I would like to just showcase to you this amazing product that we have built. I'll show you learnthatsonos.com. Learnthatsonos.com is really now a beautiful website that we're already proud of. It's fluid, it's performance, it's easy to browse. And we gather all the products for, Strap for Sonos in more than seven languages. And you can go from one product to another with ease and change the language super fast. The idea is that now we are managing more than 200 products, seven languages with staggering performances. And now, as you can see, we have a grid of more than 200 products, combination, categories, colors, a lot, lot of products for our today all run with Strapi. And it's working super good. This Learn Sonos project has been an amazing success for us and for Sonos. Now we have divided the time to market by two. It means that Sonos can now not launch new languages or new products in days rather than just months as it was before. The catalog is huge, more than 200 products, we talked about that. And now it's really easy for the Sonos team to manage, thanks to dynamic zones and integrated blocks that are inside Strapi, they can easily manage and build their website with ease each day. The performance is amazing, and today with this, the SEO also has been improved a lot, thanks to the use of this useless technology. And the use of the headless technology uh, enables the technical team uh, to reduce the time to implement new features by around two times rather than uh, traditional WordPress development. Uh, also, it took us like it took us three less time to fix bugs thanks to monitoring tools uh, we implemented, and uh, we got a very fast front end with achieving nearly perfect lighthouse score audits. I would like to thank you all for being here today at Strapi Conference. Uh, we were super proud to present this project, and we really wanted to thank the Strapi team for their amazing work on this beautiful tool. It is an innovation that we want to carry in all our projects at Pixel, and it's part today of all our roadmap and product roadmap that we create for our clients. And really thank you guys, and I hope that we see, uh, see you uh, next year of all of our amazing projects. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.